Hi everyone, it's Colleen here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I wanted to show you how to make croutons. Now, um, croutons are not that expensive at the grocery store. If you like salad and you like croutons, you know, they're usually less than $2. However, every penny counts, right? So, um, and we try in our house as much as we can to not waste food. So this is what I do when we have like leftover slider rolls from the summer. I don't like heels of bread. I cut them up and I make croutons with them on my stoneware. So you're just gonna cut them into about one inch pieces. And I already did the other ones, so you wouldn't have to watch me do all of it. It doesn't take long, but um, for purposes of the video, I pre-cut most everything. I'm using our bread knife. Um, all of our knives come with one piece, it's one piece, actually I was, that's what I wanted to say, it's one piece of forged steel, their lifetime warranty, they're amazing. Um, the coated bread knife is also very good if you want more of a um, medium price knife, if you don't, if you're not in the market for a more professional knife. I have been doing this for a long time, so I have all the things. You can too happy to talk to anyone about doing what I do. So, I have, this is four cups. I've actually, I've got, I had so much bread. When I get those, um, you know, the leftover hot dog roll in the back of the freezer after summer's over, um, I don't like bread heels. Once I find those, I actually keep a, 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 what do you call it, storage bag in my freezer with just, I mark it for croutons and I throw the random pieces of bread in there and then when I'm ready, I make my croutons. I used our measuring cup. This is the, also known as the batter bowl. This is the small one, it's four cups. So I just threw my bread in there so I knew how much I had. This is a double batch. So this is eight cups of bread and I've got some pumpernickel in there, some hamburger roll. If you're going to do this, make sure you use a cutting board that has some grooves in it so you can catch all your crumbs because that is boy, can make a mess if you don't. Trust me, I've tried it. So this recipe, you can do all kinds of things. You can do, um, you can season your own olive oil. If you're going to use olive oil, use three tablespoons to four cups of breadcrumbs. And then you can season it with dill, you can season it with garlic powder. There's all kinds of combinations. You can use like a couple teaspoons of one and the other. I am going to save all that time and I'm going to use our garlic parmesan oil. <laughs> It's so good for dipping, um, good on pasta. And this is our stainless steel two tablespoon measuring cup. I like to use glass and stainless steel when I'm using oils. All right, this guy's empty, whoops. Because they're just easier to clean. It's easier to clean oil off of stainless steel and um, glass rather than plastic. Always give your, if you've got a seasoned oil, make sure you give it a nice shake. And I'm going to need, oh my gosh, I forgot my math. So it's three tablespoons per four cups. So this is four, I need two more. Okay, so that's that. They're seasoned. I'm going to use our whisk tongs. I love these, see how flat they are? They, you can put them in your drawer, you can put them in your crock. They, they oh. Love them, and if you're picking up eggs and things, they flex. So I really like these for salad, and I'm gonna use these to mix my oil into my bread. And then these I'm gonna do on a stoneware, the large stoneware bar pan for about 20 minutes in a 350 degree oven. You can use a cookie sheet if you want. I happen to like how stoneware bakes, so that is what I will use today. So you just wanna give everybody a good coating and then, you know, croutons aren't just for salad. You can put them in um, soups. You can use them as, I have them as snacks sometimes. Just a little tangy snack. They're also good if you want to use them if you're making like baked chicken. You can kind of throw it in like a stuffing. So there's lots of different ways you can use croutons. And look at all that bread that we would have thrown away. Right? Okay. So let's get our stoneware. Right here. Don't be afraid of how it looks. The darker it looks, the better it cooks. Stoneware is something we're known for. The very first Pampered Chef party was done with a piece of stoneware. And we still use it today. So all I'm going to do is take my whisk tongs. I'm going to put these out. You want to have them in um, 
a nice, if you can do a flat, I think I'm gonna miss the flat on here because I have so oh, maybe I'll be all right, because I have so many. I've done this a few times. I don't worry if I don't have a perfectly flat layer. Oh, that smells amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread them out a little bit. These are gonna get crispy and crunchy in about 20 minutes. They don't take long to cool off, and then I store them just in a, a plastic container. You can put them in a Ziploc bag and they stay fresh. They're good for at least a week, you guys. So, look at this. I will show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. 20 minutes, 350 degrees. Hey everyone, we're back. These are our croutons. You can hear them sizzling, so you wanna, when you're cooking, you wanna listen, you wanna smell. You don't want a burnt smell on these. You wanna hear them sizzling. And then I just take a little fork and tap them. And if they sound like they're toasted, they're good. And I usually take them out. I don't, this is still going to cook. Stoneware has amazing heat retention. So I'm gonna let them cool on the stoneware. They're gonna finish getting toasty on here. Let me see if I can give you a better look. Ooh, I'm so excited. Homemade croutons are so good. Again, it's not gonna save you huge dollars at the grocery store, but you know what's in them, right? And. Um, it's a great way to limit your food waste. Um, if you don't want to make a whole pan like this, you don't have to do what I do. If you just have a couple bread heels, you can just take those and just um, do the math on the recipe. Four cups of, of bread pieces or bread squares will be um, three tablespoons of olive oil and seasoning of your choice, or you can use a seasoned olive oil or whatever oil you like and then just use three tablespoons for four cups of bread. You can do them in the air fryer if you want. If you've got an air fryer, you can do them right on the trays or you can use, we have a small stoneware bar pan. This guy fits in the air fryer as well. The great thing about the stoneware too is it cleans up so easily. The newer stoneware also goes in the dishwasher. So if you have old stoneware, you're not gonna see this on the back. So the dishwasher safe stoneware has this wavy pattern. If you remember, water in the dishwasher, wavy pattern on the back. So those are our croutons. I'm pretty um, excited and I'm getting pretty warm here. So I'm gonna say goodbye. You are always welcome in this kitchen. Thanks for your time today and I hope you have a great day. Bye.